Police stop where detectives were investigating illegal firearms left one cyclist in stable but critical condition after those suspects left the area and hit a woman in Greenwich Village. This comes after the chief of department recently reminded officers to review the guidelines for car chases. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us live from Greenwich Village with the latest. Good morning, Robert. What else do we know? Tashani and Dan, good morning to you. To chase or not to chase, and if so, for how long? Police have grappled with those questions for years. They take on added importance in an area like this one, packed with bicyclists and pedestrians and outdoor dining sheds. And sometimes the chases themselves can be more dangerous than the suspects being pursued. Police in a marked vehicle had reason to believe that one or both men inside this gray Mercedes that they were following had a gun. So around 6.40, they initiated a stop near East 3rd Street and Avenue A. The driver was having none of it. He took off. At East 5th Street and Cooper Square, the passenger bailed out. Other units caught up to him and arrested him. The driver of the Mercedes kept going and at West Houston and McDougal struck a 54-year-old woman riding a bike. You could hear the crunch of the car hitting, hitting a couple things. But even then, the driver of the Mercedes did not stop. A witness continues the story from there. He hit the curb and then he tried to get away going up the street. It was the one way and he got blocked. He got out and the police started chasing him. They shot a taser at him. They missed the first time and they ran down and then they got him down halfway down the block. The bicyclist was taken to Bellevue Hospital. Police say she is in stable condition. It is a miracle she was not killed when you see the bike she was riding twisted like a pretzel. Both men who had been in the Mercedes have rap sheets. Police say the passenger has at least seven prior arrests, including two for possession of a firearm. The driver has been arrested at least three times before, according to police. The pursuit follows a memo that Chief of Department Jeffrey Madry sent to officers last week. A vehicle pursuit must be terminated whenever the risk to members of the service and the public outweighs the danger to the community if the suspect is not immediately apprehended. Madry wrote, the NYPD's Force Investigation Division will look into whether cops followed proper procedures in this case. What is already clear is that this could have ended a whole lot worse. I actually ran for cover because I was waiting for the, for the bullets to fly. At last check, police are still waiting to execute a search warrant on that Mercedes, so we don't know if there is a gun or guns inside. Charges against the two occupants are pending. Live in Greenwich Village this morning, Dan, back to you. Robert, thank you so much.